what is going on guys welcome back to another video we got justin right here we got me um yeah guys so if you guys don't know um currently we're working together now yeah, we're merging we're channels basically we're doing the best for ourselves and you guys yeah so we're gonna be merging channels and then um yeah we're just gonna you know build, build luminary up you know um yeah we're excited and so but other than that, let's get into what we're doing today. What are we doing today, Jess? Today, we're gonna to be talking about the most common issues with the Infinity G35. We're gonna kind of set it up like a buyer's guide for you guys, because I know a lot of people, like a lot of kids, they like this car, they like going to look at it, and they actually really want a good one when they decide yeah. to buy one, you know? And we're just gonna help you guys out, point out the common issues you should look for, this and that, and just, the issues with this car that they really didn't do that good for factory. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But other than that, it's it is a, a pretty reliable vehicle. Is it? It is. It a, is very reliable. It's a VQ. I've had it for, yeah, yeah, I've had it for the past like seven months. Haven't had any issues with burning oil or anything like that. I know it is the 2004 with the Brembo package. It's the whole track package, but it does not come with the CD009. Even though I think the past owners might have swapped one in because on the chassis this has 162,000 miles and on the engine it has about 87 now or 86,000 yeah. miles so I think they might have rebuilt the synchros as a recall when the car first came out and they because there's a whole bunch of service records that for this car from like past owners and stuff like that but I had I have had no trans issues everybody That's gets good. that third and fifth gear grind I don't have that at all everything's been really chill about it yeah guys let's get into basically why our most our, our most common you know problems with the car so let's let's get into that all right guys one of the most like i would say big problems with this car and a lot of people hate is that the headlights tend to yellow i mean it's still fine especially when you turn the lights you really start to notice how yellow it is underneath but other than that i mean you can just always fix it with some these you know yeah, spec these are true. sick you know everybody likes it. it makes the car look a lot fresher and new but um, yeah, right now we're just, we're hanging with this, you know, until we get to spec these. Another common problem with even the G35 and 350Zs is you, you want to take a look at these things. Yeah. <laughs> look at the destruction, guys. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I don't know what happened, but the leather just over time, it just, it yeah. just gets dried out from the sun, this and that. I mean, I bet, I bet you have better chances if you get that, you know, that thing that they oh, put yeah. on top of the window. On the yeah, they can do to that. Cover from the sun, stuff like that. Yeah. Especially if you do like a couple of leather restorations too. Yeah. But also, I mean, you can't really restore this. Cause this is this is too much damage as it, as it is. I mean, I might as well just get a new seat. That there's no yeah. reason and, for me to get this upholstered or anything. Yeah. So, guys, another common problem with this G35 is that the ashtray just this doesn't seem to stay up. I mean, just look at this. It just doesn't stay, and it's just it's a big problem. I would say, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it is a big problem. It is fixable. I mean, they can not take this off and, you know, you yeah. can go on her and fix the clips or whatever. But other than that, I mean, you guess you just have to suffer like that, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know. It's kind of annoying. I mean, like, even if I have change in there and stuff like that, if yeah. I go fast, it'll just come out. Yeah. That's why I just keep changing here. Mm -hmm. So another problem I've had in this car, guys, actually, is... This one on the right side, on the passenger side, actually came broken when I got the car. And it's just, I don't know what happened. Someone got hungry in the car and they took a chunk out of it. You know, like, I, I don't know. So our last common problem for you guys would be- It is be, a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one, yeah. Um, As you guys know from factory, this engine is what? It's thirsty as hell. <laughs> it drinks a lot of oil, man. Yeah, it's, it's very thirsty. I mean, you only had to do like what, one? What was one it like, one quart, quart before? I was like fifteen hundred miles into my oil change. Oh, okay, that's not bad. It was like bad. barely even past like below, yeah. like a missing quart. Yeah. Like it was perfectly fine. I'm not really burning too much oil on this engine. Oh, but if you guys end up owning one of these cars, you really want to check your dipstick at least once a week. Do yourself a favor, save you money, save you a rod going through the engine. Yeah. Just, just save the engine. All right. <laughs> To wrap up this video guys, those are the most common problems. Some of the most common problems that there are for the G35 and even 350Z because they have the same engine and some of the same interior bits and pieces. Because I know, I know the quality of like everything on a 350Z and a G35 are kind of the same. 
Like everything is the Almost same. exactly the yeah. same. Just with saying all that, we hope you guys are really crushing it this year, having a good time in 2021, staying safe, healthy from COVID and stuff like that. I know me and him, we can't wait to get back out on the streets, get back in the gym yeah. and just like have an overall better health and stuff like that. Tons and tons of videos for you guys. Yeah. At least we're trying to push out maybe like three a week. You really don't want to lag on you guys and not have content for you guys when the time comes because I know that gets kind of boring. Yeah, but I just want to keep you guys updated with everything. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at luminary.company. We give you updates all the time of upcoming future videos, everything. Email us if you have any questions. Yep. I'm saying all that. I really hope you guys are crushing it. Peace out.